Hey, what's up guys? In this video, I'm going to give you my thoughts on organized religion. Uh, for those of you that may not know or have seen any of my other videos where I touched on the subject, I do consider myself a very religious person in my own way. Uh, however, for the most part, I do disagree with a lot of organized religions. I have studied many of them, or most of them, if not all, in depth at some point in my life. Um, I wanted to understand what people's beliefs were based on and what they actually believed uh, in order to form my own opinion and choose you know, if any of them were right for me. So ultimately, I decided against you know, becoming part of any organized religion. I'm born and raised and affiliate most with Christianity. However, um, I differ in a lot of things beyond that part of it, meaning um, the, the concept of having to go to a physical place, in a place of worship that some building is designated holy or something, or a church, uh, I don't agree with. The idea that there is a person who is holier or holy in, in the sense that I have to go through them in order to pass a message on to God is laughable to me. It's ridiculous. You know, uh, in Catholicism, for example, they have the priests and you're to confess to them. And, you know, I look at that and I'm like, who the fuck is this guy? <laughs> I'm going to confess to him. What the fuck is he going to do? He's not fucking a messenger of God. He's just some fucking dude wearing a different outfit than the rest. So for me, again, I don't mean this with disrespect, guys, but it, the idea of that just seemed ridiculous. God never told me that I need to communicate with anybody else to reach him. God never told me that I needed to go to some certain address uh, and do some certain movements and recite some certain words in order to you know, be loved and accepted by him. So that touches on another aspect of it. In general, most organized religions, I feel, you know, they have a formula of controlling the masses in the best way that they're able to. Meaning the average person you know, doesn't really go so in depth and far into thought regarding these kind of things. They generally just need some guidelines to, you know, some rules to play by in order to direct them in the right way. So I'm not saying, you know, my criticism of these religions is not to say that it's not good for everyone. I'm just giving you my own thoughts, guys. Uh, in addition to that, a lot of religions have certain practices um, and customs that they follow for as an example you know um certain days of the year are to be respected and treated as different than others and holy um certain foods and practices that you're to avoid and not do or partake in you know um using islam for example you know they're not to consume alcohol they're not to you know have sex outside of marriage and things like that you know, and most of them have these same kind of rules and guidelines. But my thought process in that is that, you know, I know a lot of people, I've come across a lot of people in life who were devout religious people, according to the guidelines and rules that, they're, that they've been given. Meaning they go to church, they go to mosque, whatever it is, they, they pray five times a day, or they attend church every Sunday, and, you know, they, they honor the, the days, you know, Good Friday, Easter, whatever it is. They don't eat meat, they don't eat pork, whatever the case is. And to me, you know, a lot of those people that I've come across, beyond the fact that they do all those things, they're piece of shits. Personally, they're fucking, they're not good people, in my opinion. They don't do anything for anyone else. They're fucking selfish. They only give a fuck about themselves. They're wrapped up in materialism. So to do those things in themselves don't mean anything as far as I'm concerned. You know what I'm saying? I may not do any of those things, but I'm very godly in my own way. And I will do what God asks me to do, even if it costs me my life. How many of these other folks that do these things and, you know, religiously would say the same? I don't believe that that's the case. So I just wanted to touch on this, guys, and give you my general thoughts to let you know that it doesn't always have to be black and white, that you have to do things in this certain way. Discover for yourself what works best for you. And if you're going to be godly, communicate with God directly and find out what it is that he wants you to do. Don't just listen to others and follow. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll talk to you next time. Thanks.